So I'm going to show you all how to factory reset an S7-1200 PLC. So first, let's connect an Ethernet cable between our computer and our S7-1200. We're going to open up Portal. Instead of being in uh, Portal view, you want to click down in the bottom left, Project view. And then we're going to go down to Online Access and you're gonna find your ethernet card, whatever that is. Mine's a gigabit card, so I'm gonna open up that. And then if your PLC does not show up, you need to press Update Accessible Devices. Double click that, and if you look down on the bottom left, bottom right, you're gonna see it's searching the interface for any PLC that's on the network. So now it's updated, so now if you expand your PLC, go to Online and Diagnostics. You're going to then go down to Functions, and then there's going to be Reset the Factory Settings. And do you want to retain the IP or do you want to delete the IP? Delete the IP will cause the PLC to get a 0.0.0, .0 IP address, which would mean it's going to be only searchable by Mac. So for me, I'm just going to reset it back to back for default to make sure that I get 0.0.0. .0. So press reset. Are you sure you want to reset it? Yes. The CPU will go into stop. Is that fine? Yeah, I don't care. I want everything to be reset. So right now it should be factor reset. I'm going to now try to do accessible nodes again. So I'm going to double click on that. and it should search for anything that's on the network. And right now, see, it just shows the MAC address. So that means that the IP address of the PLC is 0.0.0. .0. So that means that the PLC is now completely factor reset and ready for download. So now you will have to assign an IP address and a name before you can communicate to the PLC. All right, thanks for watching.